Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two high-performance coolers, the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo versus the Golden Benchmark, the NHD15. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. The Arctic Freezer is a sleek, compact cooler that enhances any setup with a single tower design, featuring two 120mm fans and four exposed heat pipes. This impressive cooler offers not only remarkable cooling performance, but also a touch of style with various color accents, including black, white, red, and yellow. The NHD15 air cooler is considered the golden benchmark of air cooling solutions that elevate any setup with its dual tower design, boasting two premium 140 mm fans and six heat pipes. This cooler is only offered in the traditional Noctua colors, along with a sleek black design. In regards to installation, the NHD15 is easy to install. However, the Arctic Freezer's novel installation design can prove to be challenging at times. But we know you're here to see how these two coolers perform, so let's dive into it. We've tested both coolers with the AMD 5800X CPU over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks at performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks at performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the solid line, noise on the right represented by the dashed line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer in blue performs similar to the NHD15 in red. As we turn up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the NHD15 outperforms across the board. As we pump up the heat to overclock levels of 125 watts, we can see that the NHD15 extends its performance lead. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise in the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the Arctic Freezer provides slightly better cooling for a given noise level. But as we pump up the heat to 105 watts, we can see that the NHD15 begins to outperform across the board. And when we push the CPU to 125 watts, we can see that the NHD15 widens its lead. And if you're curious on how the Arctic Freezer 34 eSports Duo does against a top budget cooler, the AK620, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this content and found it valuable, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.